Affiliate Marketing for Beginners. This is my Affiliate 101 Marketing Series, and this is the second video in that series. So today, I'm not only gonna show you what to do, but I'm gonna show you some different methods on how to do it, and we're gonna get to that right now. Before we continue, please take just a minute and subscribe to the channel so that you will be notified of the latest in e-com news and how to make money online. Now, like I said a second ago, this is uh, the second video in my uh, affiliate marketing for beginners playlist. You should be able to uh, see the link to the full playlist right up around here. And since this is our uh, affiliate 101 video series, I'm going to start with a basic series of, or basic set of uh, skills and things that you need to know and move our way up to a more advanced set of skills as we progress through this series. And one of the most important things to understand is that knowing what to do for affiliate marketing and knowing how to do affiliate marketing are two totally different things, but you need to completely understand both of them. Okay, so what is affiliate marketing anyways? Well, Wikipedia defines affiliate marketing as a type of performance-based marketing in which businesses reward one or more affiliates for each visitor or customer brought by that affiliate's own marketing efforts. To put it quite simply, affiliate marketing is a referral-based system. You just link over to a product and get paid. Now, it's a little more complicated than that, but it takes so much out of the way for traditional business uh, models that you can set up online like e-commerce and uh, drop shipping, etc. because you don't have any uh, products to manufacture. You don't have logistics and shipping or importing from China. Uh, you don't have those all of those initial costs. You don't have customer support to deal with. You don't have uh, platforms like Shopify and Amazon to deal with. You really remove... 95% of all of the obstacles that you have to do and just focus on marketing for somebody else's product. Okay, let me give you my red shoe example. Um, let's say that you know where the best pair of red shoes are. They're the best price. Uh, shipping is great. Everything is great about them. And you're at a party and somebody says, hey, I uh, really am in the market for some red shoes. So unlike a traditional business, where you would try to sell them your red shoes, you say, hey, I know where a great pair of red shoes are and I just got a pair for myself. They're amazing, uh, customer service is great, and shipping was super fast. And all you have to do is go to this place and get those red shoes. And because those people went to this place by way of your referral link, you get a commission. You get 10% of the sale. And like I said a second ago, you don't have to deal with any of those things, customer service, shipping, logistics, uh, platforms, anything you just get a commission of the sale. If you like the videos that I make, then let me know by liking this video. When you like the video, it lets more people have the opportunity to see it. Okay, now let's get into the first phase, the first of the two phases that I said earlier. And this one is knowing what to do for affiliate marketing. And let's jump over to the whiteboard so I can show you a little illustration. Okay, so the three steps are, uh, well, it starts with step one. Step one is to pick a niche, uh, and in that niche, we're going to build an audience. Now, that niche might be uh, gardening or computer electronics or computers, whatever that happens to be, whatever you're into, whatever you want to get into, um, that's fine. Just pick a niche and build an audience. And they say, oh, how do I build an audience? Well, we can build an audience by, um, we can blog, we can use Facebook, we can use Instagram, we can use anything we want to really kind of drive uh, traffic, build our audience in our niche. The second step is going to be, get rid of that. The second step is going to be to create uh, a lead capture page. And what we want to do inevitably is drive this audience traffic to our lead capture page because ultimately we want to collect email addresses. We will have the most success in affiliate marketing if we build an email list. And then the third step, go to a different color here. The third step is to find an offer. Now, uh, 
the offer is going to be the product or service that we choose to promote as an affiliate. So we will uh, have a niche, build an audience, drive it to our lead capture page, and send it on to the offer. Um, and we can, if we here, start out here, we're going to start out by choosing products because it is the easiest affiliate to see success in. Um, and we're going to go to either Walmart or Best Buy. Actually, we're going to go into uh, Amazon to start with and use their affiliate program to um, sell products. But there are other places like ClickBank uh, is an affiliate uh, network that uh, hosts a ton of offers and that have higher commission rates than that do um, Walmart, Best Buy, Amazon, etc. And then ultimately, uh, the ultimate prize would be leading up to and um, learning how to sell high ticket items uh, in the affiliate world. So people like Marie Ferrello, she launches a B-School um, almost every year. It's a training program or James Widmore training. Uh, these types of high ticket affiliate items cost several thousand dollars. So if we're going to ultimately do the same amount of work, we might as well point it and direct it to a higher ticket item where we will get paid the most amount of money. So this is really the three steps. I know that it looks super oversimplified here, but um, we'll get into how to do it in just a second. One other thing that I want to mention is on these um, links that we, these referral links. So if this is our referral link and somebody clicks on our referral link and it sends them over to Amazon to buy a product, the referral link at Amazon is only good for 24 hours. So Amazon will drop a cookie in the browser of the, um, uh, the user and anything that they buy and put in their shopping cart and buy for 24 hours is going to get credited to your affiliate account. Um, other uh, affiliate programs, like I said, uh, ClickBank or James Widmore, they have different um, time frames on their affiliate links and can be anywhere up to 90 days or 180 days. It just depends. So picking the right offer and making sure that we're aware of the time frame that it's valid for um, are two things to consider in moving into the next phase. So quite simply, that is what to do. And now for the second phase, we're going to talk about ways on how to actually do this, right? This is where the rubber meets the road. And I have three different methods that I'm going to share with you that you could get started today, right away for free. Okay. So method number one is really to do review videos, uh, product review videos. So let's take this, let's take this shark vacuum, for example, right? I have this shark vacuum, um, cordless stick shark duo vacuum. And I could uh, do a product review video on this particular shark. People look up before they buy products like this, they look up online, uh, shark duo reviews or product unboxing or something along those lines. They want to know a little bit more about the product before they buy it. Now, I don't necessarily mean the $10 items that people buy or knee jerk into. I mean, the higher ticket items, this one's like $275 on Amazon. So people are going to do a little bit of research and a little bit of looking around. And it's so easy to get started doing this. You could literally take your cell phone, uh, your iPhone or your Android device and shoot a nice succinct video. There are free video editors um, for both windows and Mac. Uh, you can clip out some of the fluff and just do a review video for these products and use your affiliate link to send them over to Amazon. Once they've made their decision to go ahead and buy the product. That's one method that you could use today that wouldn't cost you any money. Um, you could just look around your house. You have all sorts of products. You don't have to go and buy products. You can use products that you already have the blender, the mixer on your uh, countertop, the black and Decker toaster, the whatever it is you have, you have a bunch. Also, you can borrow items from your friends, your neighbors that have something neat. You can say, Hey, let me borrow that. Uh, I want to do a review video about it. And you can start producing these review videos. Now, uh, another neat little point is to use a tool like jungle scout or uh, blackbird suite. And they allow you to go in and search for the product. You want to make sure that you're going to do reviews on products that have a high number of sales on Amazon already. Right? You don't want to do a review video for something that makes 10 sales a month. Uh, 600 sales a month is great. 1,000, 10,000 sales a month. Those are great products because you know that people are going to inevitably buy those uh, at a high rate. And the higher the rate, the more money you make. If you have any additional tips and tricks that you'd like to share, uh, go ahead and leave a comment down below. 
Uh, if you don't have anything to say, then just hashtag affiliate marketing for beginners. All right, method number two really kind of builds on top of method number one. Uh, you take it a little bit more to the next level, and that is to start to build a review brand for yourself. Um, you can start a YouTube channel. And remember, YouTube is the second largest search engine in the planet, on the planet. <laughs> And people go there all the time to do their product reviews. They want to find out information on all sorts of things, how to change the brakes on my car, uh, what is this Shark Duo like uh, in use, etc. So people are already going to these places. And you really want to be product and consumer focused when you do these. You want to really take your time and dive deep. And it's okay if you're not an expert on the Shark Duo or you know a toaster oven or a blender. Read through the product manual. Go to their websites. They'll give you bullet points of information and highlights that you can really dive into and go deep. And people will watch these videos. And then you'll be able to send them uh, at the bottom of the video or somewhere you can have a link that uh, refers people back to Amazon to buy the product. You can also have uh, links to maybe the user manual. People search that all the time. Ultimately, you just want to be able to provide good value for your YouTube audience. Okay, so method number three, it builds even more off of that. You can still do method one, and then you can start to do method two, and then you can ultimately roll it all into method three, which is a little more advanced, but really since in method two, you're building your own brand, your own review brand, uh, ideally more in a specific niche. You can start to, uh, this is where in, the first phase in step two, I talked about a uh, kind of a capture page, a lead capture page where you're collecting somebody's email address. This is really where you would implement that step two is when you build your own website, you can do a free WordPress website. You have to get a little hosting, uh, but you can get a free WordPress website and the videos that you're putting on to YouTube, you can embed them on your website and you can really start to provide people a whole lot of information on your website about that product. Um, you could do a review, a price comparison review for people, of course, in addition to the product review, but a, a price comparison. You could do uh, a links to service manuals. People are always looking up how to uh, find user manual for the Shark Duo or whatever product it is they're looking for, but you can offer that to them on your page. Um, also, coupons. If you can get a coupon for a particular uh, product, you can offer the coupon on your page, but each page on your website or your blog could really be all inclusive of all of these kind of things and offer extreme value to somebody when they come to your website, offer them a big link to click over to Amazon and buy that product today. And that is how you can start making money with affiliate marketing. I suggest start with number one, test it out, move your way through method number three, and you could be on your way to making some good affiliate money. Now, I want to say this about affiliate marketing, heck about any of the businesses that I talk about uh, on my channel. And that is, it takes time. There is no magic elixir. There is no uh, get rich quick scheme. If there is, please let me know in the comments below um, so that I can review it and share this with you. But you need to dedicate yourself to doing this. And you could see some results in the near, near term, but in the mid term, you're gonna see more results. In a year from now, you will see more results. You have to build something to make it sustainable. So. I hope that you were able to get some good value out of today's uh, video and stay tuned for the next one. Be sure and subscribe to the channel to stay up on the latest in e-com and be sure and like this video so that other people get a chance to see it. And now watch this video. Go ahead and watch this video. Near, 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 near.